Hi guys, how are you doing? And welcome to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about one of my favorite tools. It's gonna to be part of a series. I've got loads of these coming up. Of some of the things I found that I found really useful. They're great for your startup. You're great for making your communication and general productivity easier. Now today we've got a really cool one. It's called Lambot.io. Now this one I found a few weeks ago, but it was only this week I really got into it, tried using it, and found out how powerful it is and how cool it is. And I've actually written out one here that I'm gonna go through for um, Reduced Fives, which is our five-a-side league that we're gonna be doing. So this will be live. You can go and check this out as soon as I do it. So let's get straight into it. So when you come onto Lambot, you'll see they've got um, the dashboard here and you simply go to create new land bot. Now then, it will, when you first sign up, it will take you through a tutorial. But what I'm gonna do is go through and quickly make my land bot. So first one is hi, and then the first message, you can just click on and edit. I hear you're looking to join the best five-a-side league in London. Save, and there is your first message. Now, the good thing about Lambot is you can actually embed GIFs really easy, which makes it a little bit more engaging, a little bit more conversational with your end user. So you go out to send a message, it will create a new message here, and then you go to add an image, you will have had to download the GIF. So I'll go to my GIFs, use the funny one, and then it'll import it straight in there. And the way you link these, these messages up is you literally gr grab this green dot, and you pull it over and there you are, that is now linked. That'll be the next message in the bot. So I'm gonna go through, add a few more bits now. And now I'm going for my first data point, which is asking a question. So pretty easy, you just go to ask a question. Um, for me, at the moment, I'm just asking for the name, so I put the name field in and I go, what's your name? And then it'll actually field save it as name and you can edit that and then i'll show you in the next one how you can use that as a variable so i just link those up then the next one is just going to be a message and i'm going to embed where it says name so it's going to be awesome to meet you at name and that will then pull the answer from this question into the next message so i'll just save that now i'm going to ask another question and this is going to be slightly more fields so i'm going to do buttons i'm going to do the question which league would you like to play in you can easily change you can add the add an icon to them you can add an external link but i'm just going to keep them basic for now so i'm going to save these answers i'm actually going to change the variable here i'm going to change it to location so then I can add that as a variable in the next next field. So there's the question, save that, link this, so this comes next. Now this is where it's gonna be a little bit different. You can choose any option, which is any of the answers will take you to the exact same um, response next, but I'm gonna have different responses for each of them. So if they said none, so they don't wanna play in any of these leagues, they're not near any of them, Gonna add a message which says, really sorry at name. And what we're gonna need from here is an email because although they won't be able to sign up right here, we can grab their details for later. So I'm gonna save this, ask a question, email, question. And that will be the end of their flow. So we'll connect this up, but this won't lead anywhere. This will be the end of their flow. And then for these three, we're gonna send a message saying, perfect, at location. Remember I set the variable to location. I'm just gonna save that, it's just another message. And the way I'm gonna link them up is I'm gonna drag all three in, easy peasy. So all of these answers will go to this message, but it will be customized based on the variable, which is a really, really cool thing to do. Right, on to the next one. And there you are, that is the end of it. We've got, if we scroll back through, it's a very simple, straightforward flow of question, 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 message, 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 and just linking up a few things, ending the flow in a various few places. Now you can obviously go into a lot more depth with the power-ups, you can send Slack or email notifications, you can do conditional logic, 
um, web hooks you can link it in with Zapier which is a really cool platform if you don't know what that is you can assign to different people so there are lots of different things you can do with power ups but I just want to show you a basic thing and how easy it is to make so we're now going to go into the design of this because it will default it to this really bright red color my face has probably gone very red now and you can do a template or you can do your own colors and backgrounds so I'm going to choose our primary color which is green that'll do nicely now we'll set the gradient up so we're going to do our color purple slightly different gradient so there we are we've branded it up with our colors um, you can save that you then go and add a logo and the header text we're going to change it to register fives upload our logo there it is in it goes and now we have it completely branded sign up to the league so you can brand it up save that you can edit some other things in here but i'm not going to go into that now i'm going to now go into how we can share it so we create a custom land bot link now we can copy this and then that is a landing page you can share that um, and go ahead so we're just going to go in and use a land bot and i'll show you what we've just built there so we go through it hi then it will act like there's someone on the other end actually speaking and you can see where we set up everything is coming through so i'll type my name in james and you can see there here it is pulled through the the variable which i put in the in the message with the at name so i'm going to play in clapham perfect clapham is actually our most popular league just a few th few more things Team name, we're gonna have it as, how about register fives? It'll go through, there we go. Drop email in, so I'm gonna put james at registerfives.com. And your phone number, put a fake phone number in. There you go. And then you'll get the funny gif up there, which that, that, that makes it a little bit more fun. And then you can share the land bot. So that is basically what it is. That thing we set up so easily, going through the flow, adding the variables, asking questions, you can easily make a specific page here. Now, if you then want to take this land bot and add it to your own URL, you currently can't do this through land bot. What you'll need to do is go back into that chat bot you made go to embed to website and just copy this code. If you want it in HubSpot, just go and create a new template, copy and paste this code into it, and there you go, it's live on your domain slash URL. Now, I wanna know who has filled in the info on this land bot, no problem. So you go into your dashboard, you go back into your bot, you can go to this analyze tab, and it will show you the conversations and results. So I can go to James, just added this, it's real time data and then it will give me all the data, where they visited it, the email that I've asked for, then you can export this data and then use it how you wish in your marketing automation platform, in your MailChimp, whatever you use to do it. And you can go to this flow analytics and you can actually see which of your things have converted and how well they've converted. I think that's really cool. Loads of cool data you can grab out of this. Now, if you wanna go back to the dashboard here, go into chats and it will show you the chats in more detail, how exactly they've interacted with your chatbot. So there you go. That is how easy it is to create a chatbot using Lambot. I know I've rambled on a little bit on this video, but I'm really pleased with how easy it is to use the platform. Um, if you don't want to go through creating that land bot fully like I just did there, you can use one of these templates that they make for you, which are really easy to do. You just click on and it will create it. As you can see, this is quite a cool one with lots of different variables and then you can edit it how you wish for your particular organization. So that is land bot. I think I've pretty much covered everything now. Uh, if you've got any questions about it, please do not hesitate to leave a comment and ask me how I use it, how you want to use it. And if you want to check the one 
I've just done there. I'll leave the link in the description. Uh, and one other thing, I've actually had a chat with the founder of Lambot and he seems really cool and told me the story of how, how Lambot was created. So I'm gonna put that in the description also. If you wanna see more videos of this, make sure you subscribe, stay tuned for the next one and I'll see you soon. Woohoo! That was a really long one, wasn't it? What do you think of the new background? Um, obviously you need to iron this. My face is really orange, realize that now. Make sure you click on the videos, subscribe, wherever I put them. All right, I think I'm good now. We're done.